Hello! Just my chair here. <laughs> there we go. Good. Welcome. Hello. Greetings, citizens. Greetings, comrades. I'm Tom Morello. Just kidding. Yeah. Doesn't he, what does he say now? I am the Night Watchman. Mm -hmm. It's his new band. He's the Night Watchman. Nice. I like that. I am the Night Watchman. We should get some. We should get some cool names for ourselves. We'll mm -hmm. think on that yeah. next podcast. Yeah. We will have some cool names. In the meantime, I'll tell you who we really are. I'm Damon Runnels. I'm Andy Shorio. And this is uh, the Swan Dive Video Podcast numero five. Nice. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, Megan, how was your fringe? My fringe was really fun, yeah, actually. Great. Um, we uh, we only saw five shows because we um, we were having rehearsals for Veggie Sock, um, but also we're poor. Um, so that's all that we could afford to see. So if we didn't see your show, I'm really sorry about that. Um, but the shows that we did see were really, really excellent, I Yes, thought. we had a lot of fun. Yeah. And congratulations to everyone yeah. that was in the Fringe, yeah. who had a show in the Fringe. We know, having done the Fringe, it is a monstrous uh, amount of time and energy taken out of um, the limited summer months that we already have. Yeah, so seriously. kudos. Uh, and kudos um, to... Uh, specifically, your responsibility for your sex failure for getting the Encore Fringe slot. So, awesome. Major kudos. All right. Uh, yeah. And so, Fringe is done today. Mm -hmm. uh, and as Megan posted, I think had a Facebook post a little while back, if, you know, if you've got some post-Fringe depression, uh, Swan Dive Theater's got the cure for you. So, boiled down theater in the form of... Vegetable stock theater. In front of my face. Vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's almost here. It's right around the corner. It's on Saturday. Six away. Ah, we're so excited. Totally. So excited. It's gonna be so awesome. So Saturday. This coming Saturday, the 20th, at 5 p.m. in our backyard. 2313 East 35th Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55406. Yes, that place. Um, you should come and see the um, reading that we're doing of A Sleeping Country by Melanie Marnish. It's mm -hmm. funny, really funny. Um, and it's really great. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you should come and see it. Fantastic. Not only to hear that reading, but also because we were going to have um, beer from Harriet Brewing. Harriet Brewing, yes. Mm. Uh, right up the street, Harriet Brewing has their headquarters. Um, uh, Jason Sowens, who is the owner and master brewer, has been kind enough to partner with us for three the first three weekends of Vegetable Stock Theater. Uh, we will be having tastings of Harriet Brews. Uh, I believe they're Woden, their Saison, oh, and yeah. their other one that I can't remember right now. Uh, and yeah, so we'll have tastings. We're going to have growlers available uh, to taste. Uh, we'll be pouring and talking a little bit about the beer. Uh, and then we will be also doing some raffles. And we'll be raffling off some full growlers for people to take home that day. Mm -hmm. uh, we just ask that if you do win the uh, raffle and get a growler, that you bring it back to uh, Harriet Brewing as the bottles are expensive and you can get it refilled uh, on Saturdays after 1 o'clock. They open up for growler sales. Uh, so we'll be doing that. We also have, uh, we'll be raffling off some posters. Oh yeah. So, um, so the artist, the local artist responsible for Harriet Brewing's, um, logo and all of their posters and the, the labels on their beer. Um, he's a really, really talented guy. His name is Jesse Brood. Um, and he is designing a poster for us for vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's really good. He does stuff like this. Ah! And stuff like this. And even some things like this. Yay! So, I mean, as you can see, he's really awesome. Yep. So he's so. doing an original piece of work for us. Yep. We'll have a limited print run as well as one framed copy that will be either for sale or for raffle. Mm -hmm. um, we'll kind of see. Um, we'll be raffling off some of those posters and uh, all the proceeds are donating to Swan Dive Theater. So it's really great. It's a good chance for you to uh, make a contribution and get a little something back. And it's tax deductible. Tax deductible. 
Love it. Uh, speaking of donations, uh, we are still taking and will be taking through all up to the final uh, Vegetable Stock Theater on mm -hmm. September 10th. Uh, donations for the actors. Uh, we are, Swan Dive Theater is big on paying people we work with. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to pay the actors as much as possible. We have almost 20 actors working on Vegetable Stock Theater. And so we need you. You right there. You. You paying you attention right here. Huge finger. You. We need you. To go to givemn.org, search Swan Dive Theater, and make a donation today. Any amount, $5, $10, $20. Actually, there's the website right there. Oh, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. There it is. Look Just at that. Go right, right there. there. Click on it. Click, uh, type that into your browser and head on over and make a donation of any amount. All of that money that we collect through uh, give MN will be going directly to the actors. None of it is going to administrative fees. None Meet of it is going artists, to artists, really, because we have playwrights artists. that we're Thank working you. with. We have sound designers exactly. that we're working with. Yes. So it's so not just the actors. It's all of the artists that we're working with. Correct, Amundo. So. so, great. And uh, I think the last thing is we uh, we had a good friend uh, swing by a little while ago to do some tasting on our own beer that we brewed that's going to be available in Growlers. Uh, for the fourth Vegetable Stock Theater during the premiere, world premiere, of Autopia for Pigeons. Uh, and we did some tastings. So we've got a couple of clips from those tastings. The beer came out okay. It was a weird, wacky experiment uh, in kind of brewing on a smaller scale. And, uh, you know, uh, some of it worked, some of it didn't work. But uh, here are the clips. Hi, I'm David Reynolds. I'm Amy Shoreo. I'm Chris McGann. Yay! We have a guest! Guests! Yeah. Guests for the podcast. So, hi Chris. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys? For Fantastic. those of you who don't know Chris, he's a very good friend of ours who uh, left us, moved away to Hawaii to pursue his MFA in acting, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Acting. Mm -hmm. So, and he's back just for a little while. And you may have seen him. He lost. I lost. And you may have, have seen, seen him. him. In Hawaii, oh, Hawaii Five O. Oh, Hawaii Five O. And he's in Battleship. Which was September 2012 Blockbuster. There which I may or may not have been cut out of because I'm not <laughs> listed on IMDb yet. I'm a little bit freaked out about it. We tasted the raw beers and That's the raw true. beers were good. We were pretty drunk when we tasted the raw beers. So I was so sorry, a little bit. Sorry, drunk. I missed the raw beers. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we've got the um Brown sugar razor. BSR. Yeah, that's awesome. BSR, the brown sugar razor. Like the heads up, like little gophers. Awesome. Um, I hope it's carbonated. I guess we'll find out now, so. Oh, God. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Check. Look at Color that, it's like it. pink. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. See, now this one, the raspberry dominates. One yes. Oh, my God, yeah. This is a raspberry wow. beer. Wow. Versus the brown sugar, we right. just like it's a raspberry flavor. This right. is a raspberry beer. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, all right, so of the four, mm -hmm. if we had to make a choice as to what we should brew on a 10 gallon batch, so uh, understandably looking at these as kind of a template for what could be. I like the brown sugar. Straight, Straight up, up brown, brown sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. See, the next nice one with the brown sugar. The two raspberries have mine. Mm -hmm. So really we lied because it wasn't really raw beer that we moved, it was primary fermentation beer, so it was alcoholic. Well, really, you lied because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> True point. True. Those were great. Those were funny. Fantastic. <laughs> we love it. Good. So we hit our points. Sleeping Country, Harriet Brewing, tastings, raffles, posters, donations for actors, and some clips. I think that brings us to a close on this, uh, this podcast. So we hope to see all of you, as many of you as possible, coming out next Saturday, 5 o'clock, Swan Dive headquarters for our first Vegetable Stock Theater with A Sleeping Country. As always, follow us on Facebook, check our website, <laughs> keep in touch. Later. Later.